Uncle Mark, welcome back to the channel. Working on the wife's uh, Dodge Caravan. Been wanting to do this for some time now. If you own one of these, uh, 2008, uh, I'm sure it's the same thing right to uh, 2020, but at least to this uh, 2010, uh, if you have the uh, T62 transmission, no dipstick. It's got the dipstick tube, but no dipstick. Now you can spend uh, some fancy money on uh, this crazy thing that's it's as long as my arms uh, to measure it, but there's already a dipstick in the vehicle, so why don't we use that? Show you what I mean if you've never noticed this before. Oh, well maybe you snow is all crunchy, crunchy, crunchy. Take a look in here. Uh, we've got your normal dipstick, so, so I'm thinking let's use this. I'll show you where I got the idea from right away. And if we look on this side, there's our little guy right there. Give it a twist. No, twist and turn. There you go, no stick on it. As you can see, it just uh, twists and turns. So as you can see on this one side here, it's got the uh, cross hatches and stuff like that. There you go. For the safe zone for uh, between here and here. For engine oil, let's get some other markings here. Blah, 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 blah. If we look on this side, no markings at all. And that's what's been suggested before. If we can do some marks on this side as to what we need, we have a free dipstick that's always with us. So some time ago, I made just a little one just for a temporary thing, just to check it. And this is what I did. I had a felt pen. This is actually a edge from a wiper blade, the metal on some of the old, old style. And so we basically said if uh, hot would be somewhere between those two. Somewhere between uh, 54 and 40. So if we look at, this is in millimeters. So we're saying when it's hot, at about, what are we talking here? 200 degrees Fahrenheit, it should be a maximum of, we figured, 54 millimeters. The minimum when it's hot, it should be at 40. So this is in millimeters. So I took this. Took this little guy from zero. That's what we did. Uh, how are we going to hold this on here for you? If that goes to zero, shows you it's roughly between 40, well, the black went a little too far, and 54. So that's what we just have to do make some notches like that on this. So I'm going to use this as a template. I'm going to say that that's just a little too far. This is why you don't want to uh, do it with felt, because it can come off. Well, let's just do it on here. I'm going to do it with a felt pen first. Uh, so it's going to be about there is going to be the top. And about there is going to be the bottom. That makes sense? This is not easy to show you. So it starts at zero. That's pretty close. It goes from 40 to 52, 54, 55. Well, we could go a little higher. Whoop, there we go. 
Could go just a hair higher. If I can hold that on there. It's at 54, huh? Good enough. Well, I guess if you really want to, you could just leave it like that, but this is gonna be hot, somewhere in there, depending on how, how hot it's running, right? Um, that would be at the maximum. It could go lower, but I'm, I'm gonna leave it at that. I thought I'd just hold it in here, but I've got this little dip, so I don't wanna squish that. Or do you think it'll hold? Let's see. Uh, no, I guess I can't. We're going to have to go like this. You'll see what I'm going to do. I just want to... Mm. Let me do it at the end. You'll see what I'm doing here right away. There we go. So you see the mark. Hang on. This is the plan. I thought if I can just make a little... Whoa, sorry guys. I'm going to be easy with everybody in the way, huh? You know how hard this is going to be to cut. Whoa. That's all I need. Woo, that's lots. Okay. That's going to be the high side. Now we're going to try and just move it over just a little bit and do the low. Same thing. Whoa! I know. Need to clean it up in here. Not the easiest stuff to cut. There we go. Uh, okay, I think we're good. I'll show you what I did. So I'm hoping with the... Can you see the marks there? Show you on this side. There you go. Thinking the oil will probably wick up into that when you try it. And uh, I think what we're going to do is I'm going to take a file and just file in between there just for a minute. This we should be able to do. I'm putting this in here like this, I hope. Hmm. Yeah. I might have to fiddle and monkey. It's going to fight me all the way. Why not? Um, just trying to bow it up a little bit, but get my file. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but I guess it does scratch it a little bit. Maybe I need to put the file in there. That might be the way to do it. Let's stay there. Uh, what do you think? Uh, I think it needs a little, a little more. probably work huh I don't want to go too too crazy just because I don't want it to start wicking up somewhere else so I guess it guess it doesn't really matter but can you see what we've done here so 
You got the little hashes there cut out. As you can see. Plus that stuff. So I'm thinking oil will probably gets stuck in there. Just wondering what it's gonna be like to wipe it. No. I thought maybe we might have to file well down the edges just a little bit, but maybe I will just give it a little just then it doesn't snag whatever you end up wiping it with. You know what I mean? I think we're done. So this side will be for engine oil, right? The, and this side will be for transmission. It's actually very similar. <laughs> According to this copy of this Chrysler information here, once it's hot, it should be within those marks that we made there. How hot it's going to be? Well, it might be a little lower based on that's at, uh, if you can get it to 200 degrees. If you're at 180, it's going to be a little lower, but it's still going to be hopefully in between that mark and that mark, which is 40 millimeters and 54 millimeters. Make sense? I believe what they suggest you do too is you're probably going to have to drive. Let's say you drive for 20 minutes, a nice good drive. Get back home, put it to park, and they want you to go into drive, reverse, try a couple of gears, first, second, reverse, neutral, Drive, park. With it running in park now, now go check it. See what it is, because that's going to help you quite a bit. <sighs> I'm going to take my... Wipe it really good. Fill the engine oil off of it now. You can see where our marks are. Should be one right here. One right there. Take the transmission little guy off of here. Put this down. Get to the bottom. Pull up. So it's hard to see. I think it's just at the very bottom here, which is in the cold, I guess, yet. We need to really heat this puppy up. But if there was something, it should be in this zone right here, right? So we're gonna leave it for now. You see it's right there. If anything's on the stick, there's something in it. Remember, really cold, that would be okay. So, wipe this off, put this back in the right hole. Put that back in. Yeah. Wife's gonna use the van for a little bit. We took it for a good run. So, and then I just go through a couple of gears. Checked it a little earlier and it looked like it was just on the tip, like about that much on there. Which I know is too low for sure, but let's see what we can get out of this thing. The hole may can go down as far as I can make it. Yeah. It's still registering like down here. And I'm thinking, I know I lost some, so I'm going to put, I'm just going to put. Say maybe there if I can. 
I won't overfill it because I'm scared. I know I've lost some. So my nice long transmission panel. That is it's really easy. HF4 Plus, that's what this transmission uses. Don't use anything else. Whatever brand you want is fine, but we're gonna try that. For now, we'll check it in a little bit. Go for a little run. Come back, try it again. I dropped it and the cap broke and everything went everywhere. Goodness. You're one of those days, is it? I don't know if, oh, I better put something on there now. I hear the vacuum running, the wife's obviously doing some work, but. Yuck. Okay, my mess, uh, well, drying up anyway. I actually reuse this stuff a lot of times if it's not super black. Stick it back in a little one of these maybe and uh, pour it in all again until it gets pretty soppy. Let's go back to our vehicle. Yeah, let's try it again. Uh, it's all wiped off really good. This said you can see this uh, either we made here, hopefully. Get this little guy out of here. Try not to lose that. It's so small, I can see somebody losing it. Take it in there, take it in the bottom, take it back out. Looks like we're about, looks like we're about there. It's supposedly hot as down there, so I'm gonna put a little more in. But... Sure. I hate to overfill it. falling again. Nothing's cut now. Yeah, stick it out. Oh, wow, well, that's not right. The whole thing looks wet up to here, but that's because it doesn't run down there properly. So, what we will do, my piece fell off of there, didn't it? I've checked the footage and this fell over. Now I got more of this oil. Oh. This isn't the day to do this, is this? Do we see a plug under there? No. <laughs> the temperature, temperature outside it says is uh, minus nine. I'm freezing, my hands are, well, cold. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this sit for a day or so. It's not going to hurt anything. Wife's going to drive it a little bit. I'll drive it a little bit. We'll check it then when the uh, dipstick tube is uh, got less stuff in it. That'll probably be tomorrow.
battery. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm just gonna go through the mirror. This was on the highway, so it should be. Well, we're getting closer. Well, wow. you see it here. So it's about where my nail is there. So I don't know how much more that'll be. But be careful. Well, excuse my in your way kind of thing. I don't know, there must only be in a boat there somewhere, so I'm just gonna take a chance on it. Wish I had a little more. I guess I do have another ball. I'll pour just a little bit in there. Forget that. Oh. Of course, that whole dipstick uh, tube is going to be kind of saturated there for a while because you're pouring it, you know, down the tube instead of, at least on your engine, you're pouring it in the engine. So you're not filling that tube up every time. So we'll let it run down a little bit. Oh, here, ambulance or something. And we'll come back to it. Hopefully one more time, I'm hoping we're done. Well. It looks like we have a hit. See right through there? That's where the red stops. I think we're good. Remember, put that back on. It's sitting a little more level here. I'm wearing the street actually, so. We can put all this stuff away. All our day. Guess that's gonna do it for our uh, checking your transmission fluid and how to make a dipstick for uh, your uh, 62 TE transmission. This also is on the Jeeps and I don't know what else to use this transmission on. Probably a lot of things in those years. Try and put uh, a little list at the end here as to uh, the different transmissions this does uh, pertain to, or not transmissions, but vehicles as I know of. Does that make sense? Make sure that's your transmission. You can subscribe down in the corner here, uh, very corner. Um, you can check out the playlists. Uh, I've got a playlist for a uh, Grand Caravan. Okay, so, well, if you're watching this, you probably have one of those, right? Other playlists there too. Be careful, as I mentioned, I didn't want to overfill it. Overfill it, I think you can have some major issues, maybe wreck your transmission. Almost as bad as being under full. Make sure you use the right kind of um, transmission fluid too. Uh, and this was uh, ATF plus four. Take care until next time. Hopefully this helped you out. I've been wanting to do this for quite some time. Again, thank you to uh, South Main Auto. You can check his channel out. Maybe I'll put a link up here uh, just because he's a good guy. And uh, that's where I got this idea from when he made that video a couple years back. You guys take care till uh, next time. Nice spending some time with you. Bye bye from uh, Uncle Mark. Remember to be safe. Your safety is your responsibility and should be priority number one. Also, if you like the video, why not give me the thumbs up? Plus, please subscribe. You can just ring the bell to get all notifications. It's easy.
We'll show you how. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Go mark uh, testing one, two, three. Can you see the cold in the air? So I guess that's going to do it for our uh, check and transmission fluid. Not easy, is it? Well, it took, well, you saw it. It didn't take if. What you want to do is 